to all of you in the globe community this is a hard time maybe the hardest most consequential time any of us will ever experience i want to express my most sincere sympathy for all of you most seriously affected this message is not an easy one for me to deliver in all of our time together we have always spoken about our commitment to education that takes students outdoors we want our students to go out and get dirty, sift through the soil, dip hands in streams, feel the wind, observe all of nature with all of their senses. It is the connection to the earth that we feel so dearly. And now here I am indoors, along with many of you, perhaps most of you, not by choice, but by necessity. They say the best antidote to anxiety is action. Here in Boulder, Colorado, we continue to work for GLOBE from our homes, connected by the phone and the internet. My staff members and I are engaged in constant meetings right now, mostly to manage all the changes we are dealing with here at GLOBE. Let me outline some of them. And please understand that things may change again as time goes on and we learn more about the global situation. First of all, the annual meeting, our 25th anniversary celebration scheduled for July 12 to 16 is still in flux. We are considering a number of options and discussing these with the National Science Foundation, the meeting sponsor, and will inform you of the final decision as soon as possible. For now, registration understandably has been suspended. Currently, all efforts that require outdoor activity, campaigns and IOPs are a intensive observation periods are suspended. You will be informed here when restrictions are lifted. These are the Trees Around the Globe campaign, which seeks you to go outside to measure tree height using the Globe Observer app, suspended. Mission Mosquito, which takes you outside to find, identify, and report mosquito larvae in standing water, and then to spill out that standing water, and data collection with the Zika Education and Prevention Project, suspended. The Water Bodies IOP, an exploration of water in your community, suspended. While the trees around the globe and globe mission mosquito campaigns have been suspended indefinitely in response to the worldwide pandemic, the campaign teams have been working tirelessly to shift gears to a safe approach that does not involve field work. And so the webinars that have been advertised by the campaigns are going ahead. Please join the webinars and stay engaged in and with your globe family. Earth Day on April 22nd is not suspended. However, it will be an Earth Day like no other in history if much of the world remains indoors. We of the Globe Implementation Office, along with our NASA sponsors at NASA headquarters, are engaged in a major pivot from celebrating Earth Day outdoors to observing Earth Day at home. We've created a web page which will provide information about all the changes taking place and what activities such as webinars are still taking place. On this page, you will find links to indoor learning activities, indoor educational materials for Earth Day, as well as resources for sustained periods of at-home learning. NASA is launching a substantial effort to provide activities, films, podcasts, and broadcasts from NASA Science Live for the days and weeks ahead on the new NASA at home page. You can find the link to this resource page in the text message below. The Globe Europe and Eurasia Regional Coordination Office has already created a page to inform the network in that region of activities to do at home. Some in the privacy of one's own backyard, if that is still an option. 
such as the bug burst activity that is part of the Europe and Eurasia phenology campaign. We caution you to engage in activities like these if and only if outdoor restrictions do not exist in your area. Other regions may follow suit, and if they do, you will be informed by your regional office. One thing I have become acutely aware of is the challenge to the students and teachers who do not have access to the internet or a computer at home. With millions of students out of school, teachers want to turn to online learning, but not everyone can log on. This disparity speaks to the larger digital divide that we should be looking at as a community going forward. It's important to stay connected to your family, and that includes your GLOBE family. I suggest you all think about creative ways in which you can stay connected with GLOBE. Whether it is looking at data using the GLOBE visualization tools, or writing to others in the community via email or social media posts, or to us here at the GLOBE office, let us know how you're doing. You'll find the email address communications at globe.gov shown below. We hope to hear from you. The current situation is a test of our humanity. The most heroic among us will tend to others in need. The rest of us will confine ourselves indoors for the greater good. This too is an act of service. We are a strong, positive and resilient community. We will carry on. For now, let's all cherish what we have inside our walls. Friendship, family, books, and music. These things will sustain us in protracted periods indoors. We will emerge from this global event forever changed, and I believe better for it. I wish all of you my heartfelt best wishes in the days ahead. Stay safe and stay healthy. Take good care, everyone.